Welcome to this lesson and the first question I'm going to do is 2 to the minus 1 and anything raised to a negative power is just 1 over that same thing to the positive of that power and in this case that becomes 1 over 2 and if you have something like 2 to the minus 3 that is just 1 over 2 to the positive of that power which is 1 over 2 cubed and if you want to work it out, 2 cubed is equal to 8, so that just equals 1 eighth. So where it gets a little bit tricky is when you have things like 4x to the minus 3 like that. And that's really 4 times x to the minus 3, which is equal to 4 times 1 over x to the plus 3. And 4 is really 4 over 1, and when you multiply fractions... The rule is tops together, bottoms together, so 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 times x cubed is x cubed, so that's what that one becomes. And you may sort of figure this out for yourself over time, when you have something like that, 5y to the negative 2, the y to the negative 2 is going to be on the bottom, like y squared, y to the plus 2, and that 5 is going to be on the top. And you uh, I guess what I'm saying here is you don't have, always have to do the steps that I've shown you here, but that's just showing you how to do it. So that's pretty much how or what the negative powers become. If you're a little bit more interested in why this is the case, I'll go through that now on a new page. And So 10 squared you know is equal to 100, or 10 times 10, which equals 100. 10 to the power 1 is equal to the number 10, and 10 to the 0. And each time the power is decreasing by 1, what we're really doing is dividing that number, or the number that you're starting with, by 10. So 10 squared, which is 100, when you divide uh, 100 by 10, of course that equals 10. So when the power decreases by 1, we're just multiplying. So dividing by 10, and each time the power decreases by 1, we're dividing that number, the actual number, not the index number. Well, actually, we are dividing both of them, but uh, what am I trying to say? We're dividing this number in this column here by 10, and 10 divided by 10 is 1 and decreasing the power one more time it becomes 10 to the minus 1 and 1 divided by 10, you can just write that as 1 over 10 that means the same thing as 1 divided by 10 even though you would normally read that as 1 tenth and I've actually done that step again and then 10 to the minus 2 decreasing the power again by 1 means we divide that 1 tenth by 10 again and 1 tenth divided by 10, a couple of ways of doing this. That 10 is really 10 over 1. When you're dividing by a fraction, you change the divide to times, turn the fraction upside down, or find the reciprocal of it in technical terms, and then multiply those fractions together, and you end up with 1 on 10 squared. And that's, in fact, what we get here. So that's showing why the negative powers can be written in this form here. And uh, that's the reason. So all you really have to know how to do is how to, how to change the negative powers. So if you had 10w to the minus 3, that's going to be 10 times 1 on w cubed. So just reminding you what I did up above, and then multiplying tops together and bottoms together. So 10 on W cubed. So another example, another couple of examples where it is something like a fraction raised to a negative power. So say 2 thirds to the minus 1. So no matter what is in the bracket being raised to that negative power, it's just 1 over, or in this case, 1 over 2 thirds to the plus 1, which is really just 1 over 2 thirds which is really another way of writing 1 divided by 2 thirds and then 
that becomes 1 times and then flip that fraction. So we have a 2 and 1 times anything is just that anything. So 3 over 2. So a short way of doing a fraction to a negative 1 is just turn the fraction upside down. And that's the, sh the real short way of doing it. And if you had something like, um, say, 3 quarters to the minus 2, that would be 1 over 3 quarters all squared. And again, that's 1 divided by 3 quarters squared, which is equal to 1 times and then just turn this upside down, so we can just 1 times 4 thirds squared, changing the divide to times, flipping that fraction, and that's really just 4 on 3 squared, and then if you were being asked to simplify it, then of course you would square each number in the fraction, 4 squared over 3 squared, and then 4 squared is 16, and 3 squared is 9, so 16 ninths, which you could write as 1 and 7 ninths as a mixed number for your final answer. So there's a few examples on negative indices, or negative powers, or negative exponents, and uh, that's about it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.